Yo, yo, YouTubers, what is up? Got Goro today. There's the massive box where he took it out. Absolutely massive box. Did come with instructions and a glove by PCS. Got number 139 of 150. Now, I have seen this in person at Con uh, WonderCon over in California, the prototype. So I will be the judge on PCS on how good they did. Now, this was not a cheap statue. It was limited to only 150, so QC should be top notch. The, the weight was easily two and a half to three years. But I'm extremely excited. So, in this top box, we got a giant base and lots of different things. We'll take this out. Hi, I'm a special guest. You need about two people to carry that box. So here is the base. It feels decent weight, although it does feel hollowish, similar to the Ninja base. I'd say that's at least two feet wide. So these are the light up front little candles here. I really like this base design. It resembles Goro's lair from Mortal Kombat 1. And here is the Beast Incarnate. Look at this. What do you think? Looks big. He's a monster. Oh boy. <clears throat> Almost look like there's dust residue from it sitting. Gotta clean it up. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this though. Goro is pretty heavy. This probably weighs 20 something pounds. You can see just how beastly he is. There's lots of like dust on this I'm gonna need to clean off. I'm gonna tape the hair, put it in a baggie. <clears throat> so this is real hair. I actually do label these. <coughs> One of them is a fist. These hands are pretty heavy. A L. Here. 
decently strong magnet. There's the necklace, undamaged, because I know another collector got his broken. Hmm. I need to figure that out. It's not going in. Switch it, turn it, you have it upside down. Turn it. Is it? Yeah, turn it. Like this? Yeah, that way. Is it like that? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> The difference because the it's pointed down to be pointed down. Mm. No, actually, I wonder if it just goes like this. Just look at the I need to figure this out. I'll figure this out in a full detailed review. That is just about got light up function right here. Test that out in the full video review. The only other part is these like belt buckles here, which I'll have to attach individually. belt buckles that look like they're magnetized that go inside but I did want to just show you real quickly some things on Goro so one thing to note is like all this like dust type stuff on it you know it comes off but that should not be there I'll need to get like a little rag see how beastly this is humongous stay tuned for the full video review all right, everybody, so I got Goro all set up. Now my Goro is not without flaws, and I'll talk about that later, but I wanted to give you a quick size comparison of him versus other one-third scale statues. You know, I got the three prime ones, see the Infinity Gauntlet, the Reaper. So Goro feels almost double the mass of another one-third. You know, it's not just height, but overall just girth and thickness. You know, he's double the width. His arms are triple quadruple the size head is a little bit bigger hand is double triple the size you know he definitely feels beastly you know he's all measure his height to see the exact height i know harley quinn and deadshot are 20 30 inches tall goro's advertised at 30 and he's definitely at least 20 inches wide definitely very beastly girthy thick and I uh, just wanted to give this quick size comparison versus other one-third scale statues. As you can see, he definitely is a beast, that's for sure. All right, let's take him out, review him, and then set him up. All right, everybody. So I put Goro here on my table because this will be a good spot where I can really circular, you know, get all around him. He's very heavy. You know, I would peg him 30 to 40 pounds all around like I said at the beginning, the base does feel a little bit hollow. I guess that's probably due to the electronics. So it's not, you know, super uh, heavy base, but it feels sturdy enough to hold Goro, I will say. So first, let's check out that base. 
So this is the dungeon theme where they first revealed Goro in Mortal Kombat 1. You have these bars here where you saw different prisoners locked up. Really great aged like effect on here with rust. You do have the light up torches because there was torches in that level. So I really like this underbase, the theme, how it looks like Goro's lair. Then you have these different skulls. So you have three different skulls and a bunch of bones, some dried up blood. So you could definitely tell some battles occurred on this. You know, Goro was a beast that just, you know, dominated everyone, the champion of Mortal Kombat. And so that is the base. I really do like this base. I think PCS killed it with this base. It's big, girthy, or definitely resembles Goro's lair. I'm going to show you the light up function. So there's a button you can press back here and go ahead and turn that on. So it does flicker. <clears throat> it's pretty bright. Go ahead and just look at that. You know, it's yellow, orange, like fire. And I like the flickering effect. I think it's really well done. Now it's definitely noticeable and looks cool. <clears throat> the only thing I would add that could make it even better is if somehow they can incorporate like a light up behind the bars of like a monster back there. I think that'd be pretty sick. But for what it is, I'm definitely a huge fan of this base. It looks awesome. I love the light up. PCS basically does light up an older one third scale premium line. So the base is perfect. I love it. Now let's move on to Goro. So Goro is absolutely beastly. We'll start here at the legs. So here's the toenails. This bootstrap. I love these knees. The shin guards look awesome. His costume in MKX was a lot more detailed than classic, which I much prefer for a higher skilled statue. I prefer the more detailed outfit. So here's his belt buckle. He has, you know, this is actual like leather. This is sculpted, sculpted. You know, these loin cloths, which are like stitched together. You can see the vein effect and the skin detail. You know, he definitely looks like a monster. It has real fur all throughout each of the gloves and areas. You can see the detail in the hands. There's only one fist, the rest are all open palm. I do like the pose of Goro. I think it's great. The muscle detail looks fantastic. Here's the back, you can see that old like, almost reptile-like skin in the back. Which looks cool, it's like a rock effect almost. Here he has this red loin cloth. This one, I need to sort of like straighten these out because they did get bent. So I could just work on trying to straighten that. Here's the face. I think the face looks great. The eyes look cool. I like the real hair. I think it does look really good. I got sculpted into real hair and you can distribute that how you want. I'll probably have it more like that. I think I prefer that than having it go side to side like some of the proto picks. And here's the necklace, which was a pain in the A to get it on. It actually did chip a little piece. Uh, they've made it very difficult to get on. Uh, one other thing that they include is these little like straps here that are magnetized. They actually gave me on this back arm two of the same pieces and so one won't fit because it's like reverse magnetized and so I need to get a replacement of that in the necklace. One other issue I had which you're actually not seeing right now was the statue came with mold. So there was lots of like white residue throughout the skin, the fur. I might be able to still show you a little bit. Uh, you know, like here, right here, you can see a little bit of white residue. You can see I was like cleaning that off with a white rug. I still need to fix that. But this white residue, which I believe is like a mold from maybe being on the boat shipping to America and a certain like, 
humidity or something, but it caused a mold effect all throughout the statue, so I had to clean it. This has happened on one other statue, uh, the Blitzway Bruce Lee one third that I got, came with a ton of mold. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit more before I set it up. But, you know, I, I don't know if I could blame PCS on that or shipping, but mine did come with a little bit of mold effect on it. Uh, the one big QC issue is PCS gave me the exact same, like, buckle for one arm. And I think they should have made the necklace easier to put on because it's extremely fragile with these little pieces. And the way you have to put it on is from bottom of the neck and then over. And it just, uh, just the slightest little flick and the thing breaks. And so... Uh, you know, they need, they should have made it like, I don't know, just easier to get on or maybe even, you know, Ori Angora with just some padding underneath. I'm sure a lot of people are going to have issues with that necklace, not just receiving it because it's so fragile, but also just putting it on is a real hassle. I hope others don't have that issue with the mold as well like I did. But outside of those three issues, you know, I'm extremely happy with this. It is absolutely beastly. Definitely the best Mortal Kombat statue ever made, and I would say the best statue made by Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. You know, I think the skin detail and paint looks great. You know, definitely resembles the prototype a lot. You know, I remember seeing the proto. This reminds me of it. You know, I don't really see any differences. So, you know... Definitely very happy with it. I don't think this is Prime 1 quality just because of the material used. Prime 1 uses that translucent resin, which just gives a more lifelike effect. If PCS used that, I think it'd really bring out these pieces. So that's just my one advice to PCS. If you're watching this review, you know, up your material game like your competitors because that will, you know, give you the edge to compete. You know, this statue sculpt and paint is great, but I think the materials... You know, had they used a translucent resin, would make this look better, you know, just the look effect. But overall, this is definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book. Absolutely love it. I'm going to go ahead and set it up in the statue room now. Alrighty, everybody. So here's Goro set up in my display case. So I'm going to just put him on the desk. Eventually, I'll put Tsume Broly to the left. So I'll have the two beasts on the desk. You know, just enough room for my laptop in the middle. Gaming monitor. So Goro does not affect it. Thank goodness. As you can see, absolute monster. Like Saracen, you can see size comparison. He just dwarfs everything. You know, he's the biggest statue in this room now. You know, compared to the other one-thirds, you know, he's way bigger, way better, way cooler. Best PCS statue to date. So, congrats to all those who got this. Hopefully you don't have any issues like I did, but I'm sure I'll get those resolved, you know, quickly with Sideshow. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm very happy to have this in collection. Like, subscribe. Have a great day.